This is a movie people have mentioned earlier in the stream. Here it is, what a wonderful shot. This is Disney's Enchanto. I know nothing about it, I haven't seen it. Also, I'm gonna be pausing the whole time because Disney are pretty tight on their copyright. Tight on their copyright, let's do this. Oh, I'm already getting Coco vibes. It's a musical, well it is, it's Disney, that makes sense, but I'm getting Coco vibes. In fact, you know how it reminds me actually specifically of Coco with the guitar and like how it made all the leaves interact? I'm seeing that with the tiles now. Probably not, no way near. But it's like the potential that Coco could have been, even though Coco is already my favorite Pixar film. Whatever. Welcome to Casa Madrigal. Madrigal? Uh, Madrigal? I'm not very cultured. I'd like to learn in the future, but not there yet. Oh, that's cool. I would love that. So is she doing this, or is this just the world she lives in? Everywhere she walks, shoes just attached to her feet. Like an esoteric superpower, like My Hero Academia's world or something. Encanto's music is all done by Lin-Manuel Miranda, aka the Hamilton guy. Oh, nice. Very nice. Also doing the monkey movie, right? <laughs> what a contribution I could bring. Oh, oh you know, well, Encanto was made by this guy, by the Hamilton. He's the monkey man, yeah, the monkey, the monkey character movie, yeah. <laughs> or is that another one? Yes, it is the monkey one. Good, good. <laughs> Definitely a Spanish-speaking country, though. You can tell by the way the tiles move. Where all are exceptional. So it's a world where the Incredibles lost and Syndrome won because nobody's super, because everybody's super. Man, that's sad. But hey, pretty cool. Piano lady. Oh, and the music's coming in. You know what this is? This is, um, uh, uh, Us Again. That's the, do you remember the new Disney short that came out? They've just done a Pixar short, essentially. That's exactly this. I'll show you that in a minute, maybe. Okay, so her superpower is just, she is another Snow White. Okay. Also, not your standard animals, kind of, you know? Um, maybe. Um, I forgot what they're called. I know what they are, but... The... Anyway. Off the country, obviously. Someone's only power is floorboards. I do not want to be that person. Capybaras! That was it. I was going to say the the mythical one. Chucacabra or whatever. Or is that... Yeah, whatever. I do like that we're getting a lot more representative of other cultures lately you know i like that coco is mexican and luca is italian i mean these are pixar examples but you get the idea you know um moana has that kind of um i've forgotten the name but you know what i mean everyone's going in different directions i guess they've always been doing that because like frozen's technically like um um not norwegian specifically but scandinavian you know and stuff like that um this is definitely south america whoa ah, oh, this is the power i want ah I like time-related powers the most, uh, and if I had the ability to teleport, I would teleport further away than where I want to go. I'd love to teleport and run at the same time, but be going at walking speed. So I'll have a conversation with someone as I'm just running and teleporting. That's what I would use with that power, but mimicking other people? Hell yeah. Bit creepy to do at a family union. Like, you, could you not just hug like a normal person? You didn't have to re- Like, I would feel a little offended being like, dude, I don't want to hug myself. Why have you done this to me? You show off. But okay, I also, hey, that's a that's a win for gender fluid people, if you want to think of it that way. Um, interesting. The whole world, it's a superhero movie, a superpower movie. To be fair, actually, Disney has been going more and more super, that's, that's exactly it. Disney's going more superpower. Frozen did well because ice powers. Moana has water powers. And this one isn't quite the elements, so not quite the avatar, but you get the idea. What's hers? Ah, uh, okay, classic. I've seen... Superhero High. Superhero High? Ah, you know the one. You know the joke I'm making. Now that's a unique superpower. Accordion. Oh, could you imagine? Mirabel! Delivery! I gave you the special since you're the only Madrigal kid with no gift. I... Oh, <laughs> lovely. Just rub it in a little bit more directly, why don't you, with your exposition, my dear. Special? Special, since, uh, you have no gift. Oh, okay. I feel like I know someone who looks exactly like this. Like, to the T, I just know this person in human form. Either, maybe that's a, 
example of Disney's animation getting better. I don't know. Either way, hey, the world's not over. Dash's world has come to to come true anyway. Even if in The Incredibles lose and Syndrome wins, there'll always be someone who has no superpowers. And that's a win. She's going to get superpowers and then the world's going to be not special anymore, actually. Oh, well. Oh, I thought I was in a Shrek then. Like... I don't. I know it's just a donkey. Uh, I guess their faces are really off. They're really strange. They're like Zootopia donkeys in human world. Anyway, sorry. Gonna pass. She makes a lot of mess. That's a pain. Can you imagine having a daughter or just like a, a person around you who just constantly is leaving petals. Like, does she have the power to kill these plants as well, so she doesn't leave a mess? It's like living with confetti. No thank you. Okay, that was a, a big reveal. She has superpowers. She can control the candles. Nope, because she's right behind. Never mind. <laughs> the child has superpowers. What's the plot? Where's it going? I assume the plot's about the lady without any powers. So why are we relying? It is without a H, excuse me. It's still Encanto? Encanto? Encanto. Makes sense. Gift or no gift, I am just as special as the rest of my family. I'm an individual, exactly like the rest of you. Who wants more pain? All right, guys, where do I drop the wagon? Maybe your gift is being in denial. <sighs> Her power. Oh no, the other one could talk to animals. Never mind. Or like interact. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I don't really have any major thoughts because I I, I I still don't understand much of the plot. There isn't much. It's a teaser. The family have powers. This one kid does. So Wait, who's who's the the animal lady? Animal is it an animal guy? Ah, oh, yeah, okay, same character. I was gonna say, why is he riding the the tiger or the cheetah? It's because they are the animal person. That makes sense. Like I, uh, this feels like something completely segmented. This is something else. They've all gone away on an adventure, and they have to be saved. That's that's as far as the plot goes in progression. Everything else is just the intro with the family. But all right, fair enough. Fair enough. Superpowers will live long, and there you are. All right, that's enough of Encanto, because it's a teaser. There's not much else to say.